Hello, this is Mertimba, and in this video I'll show you how to create very unique and interesting patterns that could be used as background or any kind of overlay for your videos. And in case if you're wondering, this is very simple to create. And without further ado, let's jump into After Effects, uh, where I can show you step by step how this is done. So, open After Effects and create a new composition. So, name it wherever you want. Uh, I'll just call it patterns. For width, send 1920 by 1080. That's like a standard full HD resolution. Frame rate 30. Duration 10 seconds is fine. Click OK. So, this will be our main composition that we'll be working on. But we don't need this composition for now. We need to create another one in order for our animation to work. So, come down here and click create a new composition. Name it wherever you want. I'll call it shape. For width, put 200, uh, 240 pixels and for a height, for height, yeah, 240 pixels. So that'll give us a square composition. And for the rest, leave it the same. Click OK. And then come down here and click this uh, icon here and select grid. This will give us proportionate grid that will be very useful for us later on. Uh, so now we need our shape. And I'm just used to doing this with a triangle, but of course you can do it with any other shape. So in order to select, uh, well, in order to create a triangle, we need our polygon tool to come down here, hold, uh, click and hold this icon and select polygon tool. Then so, uh, click this word fill and select none, click OK. And uh, click on stroke, select solid color and just uh, yeah i'll just choose white color for now and select uh, the pixel width of our stroke you can adjust it later it's not that important yet so just come down here and create a shape so a polygon so hold your shift so the 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 shape is proportional in size Okay, so once you do that, we need to align it in the center. So go to your Align tab. If you don't see it, go to Window up here and click this button Align and then you'll get this uh, window here. And select your Shape tool on your timeline, of course. And then Align horizontally and Align vertically. So this should align your shape in the center. All right, and let's keep it organized and call this triangle. It's not a triangle yet. It will be in just a bit. So under contents, Polystar 1, click the drop down. And Polystar Path 1, click the drop down. And at points, you see it says 5, so click on it and type 3. All right, so this will turn a polygon into a triangle. So that's how you make a triangle in After Effects. So now we need to uh, align it once again. So again, uh, align horizontally, align vertically. So this aligns this perfectly in the middle. All right, now we need to start animating our triangle just a bit. Uh, uh, so go to your the beginning of your timeline. So drag this blue marker at the beginning, so zero frames. Click your click on your triangle and press R on your keyboard. Then press uh, start watch icon. This will create a keyframe. Then move to the end of your timeline, to the last frame of it, and change this zero value to one. So what this means, this will make a full rotation throughout our composition. So this will be slowly rotated. So let's add some scaling animation on it as well. So select the triangle, press S for scale. Again, go to beginning of your timeline, zero seconds. And click the stop which icon here. Let's so again create a keyframe. So since our timeline is 10 seconds long, we're going to divide by two. So go to five seconds and press this diamond icon, go keyframe. This will make a keyframe. So click on it, this will create a keyframe. And set the scale to 80%. Hey, click OK. So this will automatically scale. Make sure your box here is selected. So don't click this, and this needs to be visible like that. Okay, then move to the end of your timeline, so to the last frame, create another keyframe, and just type 100 again. So what this does, this will sort of 
make the the scale that's all it says exactly this will make the shape smaller as it approaches the middle point and then it will go back to its original size we can create we can make the animation even better by selecting all of the keyframes so select all the keyframes on the timeline like that you can either press 9 f9 or a right click keyframe assistant and easy easy you can see the shortcut it says f9 so i'll be just pressing f9 yeah you can do the same so now, then keep your these keyframes selected open your graph editor and you'll be greeted by this don't get scared this is nothing to be scared of and make sure you are on the value graph so right click and no, no value but speed graph so select speed graph then select this first keyframe and drag it to the right like that select this keyframe and drag it to the left make this shape and then select this keyframe drag it to the right and select this last keyframe drag it to the left the right so now exit the graph editor and you can preview this and this will give it a more smooth animation and it will be just it will just have more flow to it it's really subtle and not really noticeable but trust me it's these subtle things that make it like stand out and really pleasant to look at so our main shape here is done it's animated yeah so okay you can close this now and open your uh, patterns composition so our main composition and drag your shape into patterns composition so drag it here and you'll you'll see it appears in the center so select your uh, selection tool or you can press v on your keyboard or press here okay and what we need to do is let's scale our uh, shape uh, composition that we added into patterns composition to like 50 percent okay so now we need an effect uh, called reap tile and you go to effects and presets again if you don't see this window go to window and scroll down a bit and you'll see effects and presets just click on it this window will pop up so in the search type reap tile cc reap tile and drag this onto your shape layer. okay so now you'll see this if effect controls here and different like span right left down up and everything Okay, so drag expand right up, so drag it to the right and increase it. You can see that the shapes start appearing. And just uh, remember this value, just copy it and paste it to the expand left. So this will expand it to the left as well. Now we need to expand it down and up. So drag it until you are satisfied this is good enough remember this value copy it and uh, paste it into expand up okay so that will fill our entire composition and if we play this now you'll see that shapes are rotating at the same time okay and that's not really a, a very pleasant to look at it's kind of boring so we need some variations and you can see here tiling and it says repeat and if you click this drop down icon you, you'll see different kinds of uh, mirroring effects pretty much and what i like to use is checker 108 degrees so click on it and you'll see that now we have some variation so now they are rotating rotating in a different way and this is way nicer in my opinion way more pleasant to look at rather than just a uh, uh stale and just uh complete mirroring effect uh, and that's it no so i'll be using checker 108 degrees you can check uh, and use anything else you like yeah there are different ones and you can play around with it on your own okay so now this is done we need to go back to our uh shape uh composition so open your shape composition here and we need to add some more animations so let's add lines and what we need to do is let's hide this triangle for now because we don't need it let's just hide it so we don't get distracted and select this pen tool or you can press g on your keyboard select it 
and uh, yeah make sure your stroke is like unchanged uh, so it's the same as the triangle okay so go to here and just start drawing uh just draw, start drawing lines okay so let's is, uh, imagine that this is like sort of bouncing from the edges so it hits here and it bounces off to this uh, like edge then it bounces over here and then it goes all the way here like for some reason it bounces here and then it goes like over there like that then it bounces here it goes here hits that coin like here this edge goes here and then it comes all the way to this corner and zoom out a bit and goes all the way out to here okay so this might not make sense to you but trust me it will in just a bit so select your shape layer the one you created press enter and rename it to line to stay organized trust me it's better to stay organized at the beginning than um, just getting confused later on all right uh, so uh, click this drop down for a line and uh, you see here add and this button so click this button next to add and add trim paths okay and you see trim paths one appeared so click the drop down for it and go to the beginning of your timeline and click on start and end stopwatches so these will create keyframes for start and end and bring end value to zero okay so move to the to nine seconds okay and create keyframes and bring uh, start value to 100% and end value to 100% okay so this doesn't really create anything at the moment so what we need to do is we need to offset the keyframes so offset the end keyframes move them back and uh, move them forward actually so what this will do you can preview now that okay our line is visible and it's just a it's not a full a line that we drew it's just a tiny fraction of it just sort of bouncing around the corners going around our path that we created okay so let's make this one so the further you uh, offset these uh, keyframes um the longer your line will appear so let's offset it by 10 frames so if you hold shift and press uh, page up you'll move 10 frames forward so press page up twice while holding shift so that will be 20 frames and offset these frames by offset these keyframes but 20 frames this will make create uh, actually make our line quite a, quite long so that's what we want okay and you can select these and just move them till the end of your compass and if, if you hold shift they'll automatically snap so when you hold shift you can close they'll automatically snap so just do that let go okay and select your line and go up to stroke click color and make it black this will make sense later you, you don't see uh, the line anymore but it's there trust me it's just uh, yeah it's just black so you cannot see it okay so close this we don't need this and bring your triangle back and put your line under triangle so they don't overlap okay so that now let's go back to patterns and let's preview this and yeah we don't see the line because it's black so we need some background in order to see it we don't want a ba black background even though there is no background here okay so click here uh, right uh, click the right mouse button click new solid Play, rename this bg for background and you can select any color you like i'll just select purple or like pinkish because well i like it select it click ok and bring this bg layer under our shape so and it's too bright in my opinion select the bg layer press t on your keyboard and bring the opacity down to like 40 percent okay now you can preview this and you see that the line that we've created is sort of like bouncing around animating and jumping around so it creates this very unique and interesting effect so that's the beauty of this effect it's it's i i don't even know what to call it but it's 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 very unique and the thing is you can adjust it in any way you like you can create any shape you like give it any path you want so you can customize it as like as you like pretty much so yeah so i'm i'm 
quite satisfied with this. And one aspect uh, I wanted to yeah, address was why I made uh, the line black and the triangle white. So I'll select uh, your selection tool. Okay, and in effects and presets, search for tint. So tint is the way we'll color these in case if we want to. And why don't we want to? Of course, there's always an, it's always better to have an option than not to have it, right? Logic. So grab this tint and put on, put it on your shape composition. Then you'll see here, matte black, uh, matte black two and matte white two. So what this means, we, now we can change the colors of, if we change matte black two, so let's say, um, let's put red. So you see the color, only the color of our line changes because the line we originally is black. So we can now change its color. So let's make it red. I click OK. And of course, if you guessed it right, if you change this color, uh, the color of your triangle will change. So yeah, again, it's like some you know, yellowish, yeah. And you see that the color of your triangle is changing, okay? It's not affecting the line. So click OK. And now let's preview this. So now we have different colors on our like shapes and lines. And let's bring the opacity down to like 25% because it's too bright. All right, this is better. All right, now you can preview this. And the limitations are pretty much like endless here. You can do anything you like. You can customize it in any way you want. You can further decrease the size of this and really open the CC, uh, the reptile and just expand it even like uh, further like that. And, you know, just do anything you like pretty much. You see? Yeah, just you can play around with it for, for as long as you, you like. All right, I'll just bring it back to like that and you can preview this again and you'll see that it's animating and everything's, you know, it looks cool. You can even add 3D effects on it and it'll look even cooler. I have videos of it on my channel, but of course I'm not going to in go into that in this video because that one's more advanced and, uh, well, there are a bit of different principles in there. It's not important for now. Well, if you want me to record a video on that uh, as well, just let me know and I'll gladly record it. But that'll be a separate video, of course, not not for this one. All right, and that's it. Now you can just, you know, ex export, ex export this uh, in any format you like and use this as your background and your overlays and, I don't know, intros, outros. Doesn't really matter. You can put this one on your desktop if you like, but that would be too trippy. Huh? I wouldn't do that. Uh, that would be just trippy. Okay, so well, that's about it. And yeah, so if you enjoyed, uh, uh, leave a like. And if you have any comments, r remarks, or suggestions, uh, write them in the comments below, and I'll be reading every single comment. And yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.